I was 24 years old. I had images of a Humvee, a cracked windshield, and a lot of blood. And as I laid there in that Baghdad ER, I knew that my life was forever changed. Melissa Stockwell lost her leg in 2004, becoming the first American female soldier to lose a limb in combat. After I lost my leg, you know, I looked to others to kind of see what they could do, and I thought, okay, if they can do that and they're missing their leg, well, then I can do that too. As a longtime athlete, Stockwell soon returned to a life of sports. And in 2011, she co-founded a paratriathlon club in Chicago called Dare to Try. Its mission to help disabled children, adults, and service members discover their true potential through triathlon, a demanding sport that combines swimming, cycling, and running. I'm a disabled veteran, and they had a military camp a year or two ago, and a friend encouraged me to go and participate, and it got me strung out on triathlon. But Dare to Try's impact stretches far beyond the finish line and into the hearts of athletes when they need it most. I was injured uh, on the job as a New York State Trooper, so I needed to heal physically and emotionally. When I heard of a kid's camp, I'm like, you know, I would definitely love to be involved in that because I know as an adult how much this camp meant to me. I would imagine that it's an amazing experience for young kids. Volunteers come from across the country to help train children and young adults ages 6 to 21. This year's summer camp served about 40 of them. They came with a wide range of physical disabilities. We have spinal cord injuries, so athletes in wheelchairs. We have someone missing their arm or their leg or some sort of other amputation. We have um, visual impairment, so any sort of physical disability. They're able to be around people that um, they can relate to, where they're not being bullied and it's just a great experience. You know, no one making fun of them because of the disabilities that they have. I've been doing triathlon for, for a while now on my own and uh, my vision kind of got in the way, so this is going to get me going now, get me going to my top speed. <laughs> we help provide them with the adaptive equipment, with the coaching, with the training, but they can get to that finish line, get a medal around their neck, and they can be triathletes. At home in Chicago, Stockwell's passion and patriotism had her training for a medal of her own. Then came the call that confirmed her place on the first paratriathlon team in Rio. Yes! 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 You know, I've been doing triathlons since 2009, and to be able to, you know, go and represent our country on the world's biggest stage is, is pretty amazing. And amazing it was. Team USA swept the competition. Stockwell won her first Paralympic bronze medal. Alongside her stood two other U.S. Paralympic triathletes who helped bring home the silver and gold. Our motto is one inspires many, but in my case it's many inspire one.